Hey everybody, it is Sunday, December 10th, and I'm standing down at the grain bins right now. Um, I wanted to do an update video, kind of a wrap up of the season. Uh, I went to do a video the other day, Friday, we finished corn, and I started doing a video of the, oh, the last two loads we were putting in the bin, and my cell phone died. I've been shooting videos on my cell phone. So that's my first question to everybody, uh, whoever wants to chime in and reply. Uh, what do you guys use to do your videos on YouTube? Uh, I just use a cell phone, but uh, it takes a lot out of my battery, so I don't know if I'm going to buy something else, check out something else. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what are your opinions? And then I just wanted to do, like I said, a quick overall video. Uh, like I said, we got everything. Uh, everything's up. I think the combine's still down in the field, but other than that, everything's up. And yeah, we did pretty good. That's still the soybean bin, corn bin. We um, we still got to get another truckload moved out of soybeans. We got the fans on both of them running right now. And let me go up top of the corn bin and show you how we made out. So we're up top of the green bin right now. And open this up turned out pretty well um, I gotta get in here and flatten this out but that piece right there is a distributor that we plug in and run uh, the auger obviously you see the door up there the grain will drop into that cone piece and that distributor spins this way and it's supposed to I guess evenly disperse the grain. It doesn't even, because it spins that way, it kicks more to that side. So the last two loads, I just kind of, or the last load and a half, I just kind of shut it off, had it this way so it'd all fill in, but. Field did pretty good. We were pretty happy with this. So. Um, so yeah, haylage got in, corn silage, we filled the silo. Um, high moisture corn, we didn't fill the silo. We never fill the silo. That'd be way more corn uh, than we need for uh, milk and 50 cows. We usually put about 30 to 40 loads in. I think we did 35 this year. We did 40 last year, and we did 35 this year, so that's good. Um, you see the bag, the egg bag? I don't know if I've touched on it in other videos. I know I've, I've seen it in the videos, but never really talked about it. 95% uh, of the time we use the silos. Actually, 100% of the time for the haylage and uh, shelled corn. But for corn silage, uh, we'll empty the silo. And while we empty the silo, we'll start feeding out of the bag. That way, I say ferment when, it, when the stuff goes in there and kind of ferments or whatever you want to call it, the forage goes in there. That way we're not feeding uh, green uh, corn silage. My dad does do sweet corn, and uh, usually what we were doing was we would feed out of the silo until the silo was empty, and we would go down and chop the sweet corn and start chopping the, you know, the earlier corn and feed it to them green, and the cows didn't really eat it as good, and there was definitely a drop off in production. So we ended up doing bags a couple years ago. We had way more haylage than we could fit in the silo, and we were trying to sell it. Uh, nobody needed it, or no one knew they were going to be short at the time. So we ended up getting bags, and uh, ended up liking them. So uh, didn't like them enough where we were going to get rid of the silos totally. Um, but we decided to put up a bag of corn silage every year, and that seems to work out the past couple of years doing it that way. So that way they just they stay on. They just stay on the. Like I said, I call it for. I call it fermented stuff, but whatever, the non-green, non-green uh, forage, so. So now we're in the shed, and we got the 520 in here, and this is going to be one of the winter projects. Uh, this is the 3010 that was sitting out front. Um, we did get it fired up and brought it in here. There is a few things that need to be done. <coughs> Excuse me. Mainly the generator on this needs to be replaced. Um, the battery box, yeah, this one, that's a little rough on the bottom. So we're going to put new batteries in it. Definitely need a new seat. And 
we'll see how far we get into it. Maybe it'll go down for a paint job. I don't know. Uh, it's easy to sit there and say we're going to do this, this, and this, and then uh, then time gets away from us, and then we got to go back out into the field. So we'll see. But definitely the generator, definitely a new seat, definitely new batteries. I'd like to put a roll bar on this with a canopy and some better steps. So that is the plan for right now. And right now we got it parked next to the 520. Uh, my buddy that painted the 520, if he's got time, and if we got time, we could send this down to him to have it painted. Um, it's hard to tell. It, in person, you can tell on the video, it doesn't look too bad, but when you start going through it, uh, it definitely needs to be touched up. So uh, I got a question the other day about what we store. Do we keep things inside or outside for the winter? But this is our one machine shed that we have, and it's pretty dirty, pretty cluttered. Uh, so we'll get in what we can. We try to keep the, we definitely will keep the baler inside. Uh, the truck is in here for right now, but that'll go out. We try to keep um, the uh, drill and the corn planter inside. My dad's also a salesman for Pioneer Seed, so come February, I think usually he starts getting deliveries. Uh, this area right in here will just be filled up with pallets of corn and soybean and alfalfa. So, And then uh, the front part where the truck is right now, uh, We'll probably bring the combine in for a little bit until we uh, need to start making repairs on equipment. I know the disc, uh, the bigger disc that we got this past year does need some stuff fixed on it. Uh, the 3010 we're going to try to work on and off the top of my head that's it. So, um, Like I said, I just want to give you guys a quick uh, wrap up of the harvest season. We're, I'm happy to be done but on the other hand, I'm going to miss doing it too because I really do enjoy doing it. So, um, gearing up for another season of it, I will, I don't know, I will try to get some videos of the in the barn. Definitely try to get some videos of what we're working on in here. Uh, February, I know in New York, we do the, uh, it's the New York State Farm Show up in Syracuse. So, I'll try to get some video of that. And, uh, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, uh, give me a shout, uh, leave a comment, or get, get a hold of me somehow, and uh, you can check me out on Instagram. It's the same name, MikeP7810. So let me know. And uh, thank you, everyone who's, uh, who's liked the videos, who's uh, clicked like, who's left a comment. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. And hopefully this channel can grow, and hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can keep providing some entertainment stuff. All right, or entertaining stuff. If I could talk, maybe. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thumbs up if you like the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll hear from you guys later.